table and we have here another table called as fact table we have it this is a fact table so in the customer table we have information about customer like customer name customer address customer phone number that kind of information is available in the customer table okay and in the fact table we have the money information quantity information that kind of thing is available these two tables i am giving to your hand and i am asking the question to you people is question to you people is get me top 10 customers get top 10 customers get top 10 customers based on sales amount that's what the question is if i want to do same task i can do i can do in the power bi by getting these two tables into the power bi first then i need to make the model model is nothing but creating the relationship among these two uh, between these two things then we need to develop the report we have to develop it that's what today end of the day we are going to answer it so we start yes sir okay so that is a business context what you are going to cover today while you are covering this one today you also need to understand this flow as well as you also need to understand the course content whatever available you need to understand okay so if you go through the course content first i give an introduction you know what always whenever you are learning some new skill always you need to see the scope of that one that means okay i have the abc is available if i learn the abc is it everything is completed or i have the chance of chance of going through the d e f like that always you have to choose a tool which has a more scope more scope more scope that kind of thing is power bi actually power bi is not an independent stand alone tool power bi is a tool which is available inside the power platform power bi is a tool which is not an independent one it is part of power platform what it mean let me go and try to open another google browser to search for what is power platform nowadays this uh, sorry nowadays this power platform is very famous why it is very famous is people are now ready to write the code or people want to go for low code technologies what is correct people want to write the code or people want to go for low code technologies low code or no code technologies right so if you see the power platform now we opened microsoft then power platform you opened here you can observe power platform and you can see below microsoft power platform is the low code tool that means we are not going to write too much code we are not going to write it we'll write maybe one or two lines of code we'll write it but that is going to do 200 300 lines code what it is going to do the job same job it is going to do here under the hood what is happening we are least bother about it the back end what is happening we are least bother about it but you are writing here minimal lines of code only are going to write it and it is going to work back end lot of things it is going to do it if you see this power platform means what exactly power platform is a collection of products in that collection you can notice power bi is one of them the power platform power bi is the one of the product actually so that means there is a lot of scope down the line once you are uh, good with the power bi you are feeling bored let's say hey from past five years i'm working in the power bi nothing to learn much okay you can go on you can explore what is power apps what is power automate what is power pages what is copilot studio these all things you can able to explore it you know what this list also is going to change this actually if you see last one whatever we have now right last one whatever we have now right this is recently added it is gen ai gen ai corresponding one generative ai product it is generative ai product it is 
So there is a lot of scope. There is a lot of scope. You will not feel bored in our total career path. You will not feel bored. Once you think like, okay, power way, everything I am done, nothing I am learning means don't worry. We are going to learn power apps and we will integrate this one. Power automate, we will integrate this one. Power pace, you can integrate this one. And once you are going for power automate, this kind of things means you are going to integrate rest of the world. Entire world you are going to integrate with the power automate. Power Automate is a one kind of RPA tool kind of thing or DPA kind of thing, robot process automation or digital process automation kind of thing it is. Nowadays, everything is going, we are going in the digital world, we are going, we are going in the digital world. So DPA or RPA, whatever we are saying it, those all things are possible using Power Automate, low code and also you can observe here, what is this? AI, right? So we have the now, we have the now, whatever we are learning, the Power BI, lot of scope is there. Never you feel like it's bore. That is a major difference with other tools if you go and try to observe. For example, if you go for your Tableau, if you go for your Tableau is one of the tools available in the market. Problem with the Tableau is Tableau and Power BI are equal tools. I, I, I have no conflicts on that one. But only problem is there is no extra integrations. If I want to integrate something else, I want to integrate it. No, we don't have it. But in case of Power BI, yes, you can integrate to the Power Automate, Power Apps, tomorrow ADF, a number of Microsoft products are available. We can able to integrate it. Due to that reason only, whenever you are going for learning one BI tool, learning one BA tool, Let, like if you want to have the good food, thousands of hotels are available, but still you choose one hotel to complete your lunch or dinner. Based on certain reasons, you have your own reasons are available, you want maybe uh, vez or non vez or budget food or something like that, distance wise, short distance, your own reasons we have, right? Similarly, people also have their own reasons. From that reasons, they're going to choose the best BA tools, they're going to choose it. There are thousands of so BA sure tools that are available. Oh. Any question? All right, okay. So if you go and try to type here, list of BA tools, if I type it, you can see the Power BI is one of the tool, Doma is one of the tool, Looker, List is not completed. Please go on mute. If you're not speaking, please go on mute. Yeah. There are... Is this speaking? Nanama? Nikita, please go on mute. Nikita, yeah, good. Now, what I'm trying to say is there are so many BA tools are available in the market. The first question you'll get is, okay, I choose in Power BI as a my BA tool. Is it right tool I choose in? Is it my decision is correct or not? That's what the first question you may get it. To be honest, whatever world we are seeing is very small world. I am also seeing very small world. You are also seeing very small world. Always you get this kind of questions. You need to meet the expert okay who is working on this particular area to analyze which ba tool is the best why it is best okay they will analyze and they're trying to provide the ranks they're trying to provide it that kind of companies are available in the market those companies are those companies are gartner coordinates i have one slide here let me open that slide if you go to the notebooks then we have here introduction and installation under the introduction and installation we have here one slide gartner report uh, this gartner is a one company actually it is an organization what is the job of this gartner is to decide which comp which tool is doing best which tool is doing uh, not best something like that observe these coordinates here where is microsoft is sitting and what this tool is Are you with me? Yes, sir. 
Okay. So always you have to reach the experts in that area. We have a list of BA tools are available. Now our confusion is which BA tool is the best BA tool is our confusion. Don't live with that confusion. If you go for this kind of coordinates, you come to understand which BA tool is the best. And this, this, the job of this Gartner is this is a job. We have a lot of database are available in the market. Okay, which database is the best means you can go and you can get the Gartner coordinate and you can see it why it is best in what case it is best they are going to decide it and similarly we have a lot of uh, crms also available lot lot of crms so customer relationship management software list of crm softwares we go and try to type it we have n number of things like we can see it hubspot salesforce n number of things are available so always you have to reach particular functionality you want to implement in your business. It may be BA implementation or CRM implementation or ERP implementation or DevOps implementation, whatever it is you want to implement it. You have to choose always the right tool. You have to choose it. The right tool, sometimes you may not able to decide your own. Then you have to approach, approach correct person. The correct person I feel strongly is Gartner or first this kind of companies are available in the market. Okay, so now we decided, now we decided, okay, whatever we choose in the Power BI is the best tool. Why it is best tool is because, because all are suggesting that one, right? Because all are suggesting that, not me, not you. Rest of the world is suggesting that one. Okay, now, once we are in the BA, once we are in the BA, what we are going to do next? You decide to learn the BA now. You are going to see the rest of the syllabus. You are going to see it. Okay, we are going for now introduction here. This Power Platform, we understand. Inside the Power Platform, Power Bay is the best tool. Out of these all tools, Power Bay is the best tool. That's what we confirmed. Now we decide to learn about Power BI. Now we decide to learn about Power BI. Then you need to understand inside the Power BI, what are the different tools are available. Inside the Power BI, we have different tools. These all are different tools. If you go for its official website, let's say Power BI official website, Power BI website, then you can notice here uh, Power Platform products. In that one, Power BI data visualization, we are trying to observe Power Platform, then products, then Power BI VR. Now, Inside this Power BI, you can see different products are available under this one. One of the product is called as Power BI Desktop. You can notice here in the bottom, Power BI Pro, Power BI in Fabric. Okay, then Power BI Desktop, a number of products are available. Okay, if you go to the products here, Power BI here, you can observe Power BI Desktop, Power BI Pro License, Power BI Premium License. Power Bay Embedded, Power Bay Report Server. Are you going to learn these all things? Means not required, maybe. Not required, maybe. What people are using at this point of time only will focus on those things. We are going to focus on these things we are going to focus. Like Power Bay Desktop means what? Power Bay Pro License means what? Power Bay Premium License means what? We are going to focus. This desktop is a software you need to install inside of a laptop. These two things are not softwares. It's the licenses you have to purchase from the Microsoft. I am going to share that license. I'm going to share to you people. Okay, now you understand we are going to learn about Power BI desktop, Power BI Pro license, Power BI Premium license. These are the three things majorly we are going to focus. Let us start with the first one here. What is the first one? Power BI Desktop. Again, you need to understand, okay, Power BI Desktop, internally, what are the components we have it? There are so many components like Power Query, Power Pivot, Power View. You can see in the, our architecture diagram also, we're able to see this one. What is the first one? What is the first one? Under the Power BI Desktop, you can see first one is what power query second one is what power pivot third one is what 
power view. These three things you have to focus and you have to learn those, those all things. Now, okay, I want to go for first power query. I want to go. Power query is the only component which is maintaining the relation with the database. So I want to go and I want to open Power BI Desktop and I want to see where is this Power Query and how to connect with the data layer. Those things we'll try to learn about it. I'm trying to open here Power BI Desktop. Once it is installed in your mission, the moment you type in the search, you are going to see here Power BI Desktop. You are going to see it. Click on this one. Now it is going to open one window. That simple it is. If you know that window, end to end all the options whatever available your power bay course is completed only one window it is going to open if you know that window end to end that's it your power bay is completed but in that window only you'll do so many things you are going to do it you know what there is a data engineering role there is a data analyst role but who is more recognized you know Data analyst only, I mean, Power BI developer is going to more recognize, but Power BI developer is going to do very, very less work compared to data engineering resource. Data engineering resource on the scale of uh, 10, 7 is going to do work, and Power BI guy is going to do only 3 is going to do, but still Power BI guy is going to get the more recognition in front of the business users. Why? Because data engineering is a back end portion, Power BI is the front end portion. You are going to meet Customer, you are going to meet with the customer and will explain how to use the report, what he wanted. In that way, you are going to develop the report, right? You will get more name and fame and money, everything you'll get more, right? So that's what it's very important. Only thing is communication. Communication should be perfect. If you have the communication perfect, technology is not a big deal. Am I clear? Okay, now yes, this is the window. Whatever you are seeing here, you can see in the top the name of the window. You can observe here. What is the name of the window? Power BI Desktop. The name of the window is Power BI Desktop. I want to save this one. How I can do it? You know, everyone Excel, MS Word, PowerPoint. How you are saving it? Similarly, you can save this also. I am trying to save this one. It is empty file. Still, I am saving it. I am giving the name as so B24 11th month 12th date. Okay, underscore demo. That's what the name I am trying to provide it. For clearing easy purpose, I am going for one particular folder. I am going so browse this device. Generally, I'll keep under the desktop. I am going to keep it so desktop in the desktop. I have one folder RRI tag under RRI tag. Under RRI tag, I want to create one more folder with this month B2411. I am keeping under this folder. I want to save this particular file. I want to save it. So B24, some reason it is not carried forward. So I'm trying to put here again name, click on save. Wow, you, you are trying to save your file with this name B2411 demo. We are trying to save it. Now, now, today is 12 or 13? Okay, 13, no problem. Let's take it as a US timings, okay? Now, we have, this is the file. This file, if you want to see back end, you can go and you can see the back end because we know where you saved it, right? I saved on the desktop, RRA tech folder, we have it. Inside the RRT folder with this month, I created a folder. There we have the file. What is the size of this file? What is the size of this file? 13 KB. 13 KB. So end of today, we are going to see the size will be increasing. That means if you keep on your working or you're saving, the work will come and try to save here. That's what I want to tell. And the file is available here. You can observe this is the file. The file extension is what? What is the extension of this file? What is the extension of this file? 
TBIX. You know, X is a common thing. We are going to get it, right? Excel means XLS, X will say. Document means DOC, X we say. PBIX means Power BI file, that's it. PBIX means what? Power BI file. XLSX means Excel file, right? Similarly, PBX means it's a Power BI file. Now, let us go back to our original question. What is our original question? Get top 10 customers based on sales amount. Now I have your Power BI is available. Power BI tool is available. I would like to answer that one. And I can go and I can connect to database here. Here we have the option to get the data. I want to get the customer table and fact table I have to get here. So click on here, get data. Then we see in the more, we have a bunch of database are available. You name the database that is available here. Anyone want to name some database? Anyone want to name some database? Please give no some database, database name. No SQL databases are also there, sir, like MongoDB. No. MongoDB also, yeah, it's introduced to recently. It is a beta version. Looks like your requirement also clarified. In the recent versions, they introduced it. They introduced it. Earlier, it was not there. It is a beta. Still, it is not public use. Beta meaning yeah. they're still in the development. But they are coming into that space also. No SQL database also. Give me first SQL database names, anything. Okay. Yes. No SQL right. graph databases, those things we'll think about later. We have three generations of databases, right? SQL databases, no SQL databases, graph databases like that. Graph databases also not covered here. Like you see, Tiger graph databases, it's not there. It's not there. Okay, Neo 4G, it's not there. So those are our next level. But tell me SQL databases. Postgres. For example, you take here, yeah, Postgres or Oracle. Oracle means Oracle is available. Postgres means Postgres is available. You can able to observe it. But today, I want to go with the SQL server. I want to go because I have in my mission SQL server is installed. Even I opened for you SQL server only. I opened. Go and try to select here SQL server database. Now click on here connect. The SQL server also installed in the same laptop what I am using. The reason I can say as a local host. Local host means I am telling to the system in the same laptop where the Power BI desktop is installed, my uh, SQL server also installed. That's what I am giving the information. And it's asking, tell me database what you want to access it. Okay, I want to access the database called as AdventureWorks DW. 2012 is my database name. If I click on OK, it is going to show you the tables which are available inside this database. It is going to show it. In those tables, you will see your table called as customer table. And also you will see your table called as fact table also. You are going to see it. These two tables, we can go on. We can do further transformations if required. Maybe you need the transformations. Why? Because this is may not be ready to eat food. I can see I have your first name. I have your middle name. I have your last name. Some reason, some of the people do not have your middle name even. Wherever null is available, I want to say, instead of putting the null, I want to say middle name unknown. If you see our outlooks, generally you will see this kind of terminology, MNU, FNU, LNU, something like that. What is the meaning of this is middle name unknown, first name unknown, last name unknown, like that we are going to put it. In our mailboxes, if you observe in our company, you will see this kind of terminology here and there. The meaning is, if you don't know particular part of the name, we will put something like this. MNU means middle name unknown, LNU means last name unknown, something like that. I want to replace this null with the MNU. That is the one transformation I want to do. Then second transformation I want to do is I want to concatenate these all three things and I want to make it as a full name. I want to make it. I want to make this as a full name. I want to make it. 
So something transformations, I am planning to do it. As I want to do those kind of transformations, you need to go and how to use the transformation option. Let us go and try to click on transform data. Then immediately we are getting here one window to you and previous window remains available and we got one new window, we got it. The new window name, can you observe and tell me what is the name of this new window? This is the new window we received. This is the new window we received. What is the name of this window? Power Query Editor. Excellent. It's a it's a Power Query Editor. If you go and try to observe here about, this is a Power BI Desktop. Under the Power BI Desktop, this is a Power Query Editor. Okay. If you want, you can observe each one here terminology wise. What is this? Queries. What is this called as? Queries. This side you can observe here it is a query settings. Different windows are available here. But my target is, my target is I want to go and I want to do two transformations. One transformation is called as wherever we have the middle name is null, wherever we have the middle name is null. I want to replace those null values with M and U. That is my requirement. Select this particular column, right click. There should be an option called as replace. Then we are trying to put it here, null whatever available, we are trying to replace with M and U. That's it. Now you can observe wherever null is available, we got here M and U, we got it. That transformation step also added here, replacing the values and I want to maintain these three things as a full name I want to maintain no problem we have here add column and we can go out we can write your own formula you know what life is very 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 simplified meaning 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 don't think about if suppose I'm an expert now Okay, I know how to write the formula. So how, what is the regular way in old days? In old days, we go back three, three years or four years, go back, if you go back. Then how you, you'll be creating a column if I want is, I'll be writing here full name. Then I need to use my technology. Okay, then I write here first name. First name, concatenation means under symbol. I am the expert, that is the reason I know there is under symbol is available here. I can use it for the concatenation. And I am going to write here middle name. Okay, then again I am writing here concatenation with the one space. Then I am writing here last name. Then I am writing here last name. That's it. So we are first name, we are concatenating with the space. The result we are concatenating with the middle name. The result we are concatenating with the space. The result I am concatenating with the last name. Once we kept everything, something is wrong. Token literal expected and 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 It's not liking single quotes. It's not liking single quotes. So we are changing to double quotes. And also we are making this as one space. And also an iPhone we are making. Yeah. Now you can see in the bottom, no syntax errors have been detected. Only thing what I changed is I kept Single course, I kept it. The single course, I changed as a double course. This is the problem, right? Lot of learning here. I need to know concatenation means I have to use the under symbol. String means I have to put double course or I have to put it like that. I need to learn it. This is the learning. This much of learning, this much of learning means it's boring job always. We are in the A world. We are in the A world. I am looking for something. Hey, same thing I wanted. 
same thing I want it, but I don't want to write any formula. I don't want to write any formula, but same thing I want it. How you can do it? That's where they come up with, you can observe, add column, there is an option called as column from examples. If you go and try to click here, let me select first all these three columns what you are looking. First name, middle name, last name, first name, middle name, last name. If you go and try to select here from all columns, from selection only, select the from selection only. Then here I am trying to write what I want it. Let us say we have three columns. You see over there and try to type it. That's it. So we are seeing the data and we are trying to type here. We are giving the training. We are giving what? Training. What I want is I want the John, then I want iPhone, then I want V, then I want, uh, sorry, V is in this uh, capital, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Then I am giving here young, something like this I given. This is one training I given. Once I given the training, automatically it is filling everything. This is AI. Are you, are you understanding? Now, if you click on OK, now you click on OK, whatever you did the manually with the expert, whatever system did it, both are same. This is manually I did it. This is system did it. Both are same. Are you with me? Yes, yes, sir. So, lot of learning is, lot of learning is, lot of learning is automated here. You can, you can understand now what is the meaning of low code? What is the meaning of low code now? What is the meaning of low code now? If you see, I had custom in this formula case, what I did is I written the super formula I written. To write the super formula, I need to know what is this ensemble is doing, what is this string is doing, everything I need to know. Then only I can able to write it. In case of this one, nothing I need not know. I am taking the data as input. I am giving the training. I am giving the training by typing one example. Based on that example, system written a formula for you in a beautiful way. See here, system written the formula, test dot combine first name, middle name, last name. It may not be written same formula what I written. What I written, it's using separate functions it is using. That also good only. If I written, I will write what I know. If system written, system write what is good for our system. There is a difference, right? I may write a formula which is for, for performance wise hampering, maybe. But system will write the formula, performance also will consider, will write the beautiful performance wise also, less time it is going to take, something like that is going to write the formula. Are you with me? Lot more things you can do here. You can see in the top. You can see in the top. What is this? Machine learning platforms also we can able to integrate here very easily. We can able to integrate it. This is what the more information what I want to give it. Okay. I want to close it at this point of time. This one I am closing it. That means Power Query I completed. Power Query I completed. If you see your architecture diagram, if you see your architecture diagram, Power Query, in the Power Query, all you did is you taken two tables from database and you did some kind of transformations, you did it. The one of the transformation I did is null I replaced with the MNU. Second transformation I did is concatenated the first name, middle name, last name. Manually I written the formula and also I given the training to the system to write the formula. I written some examples I given and I given the training. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. Next point. In this one, next point, you can notice here power pivot. What you are going to do in the pivot? Pivot means you are going to the model. Related, there is a lot of things are there back end, but I will talk about what is model here. Model means in simple words, Relating all the tables. We have now two tables. This is a model. This is a model. This window is called as model window. In this model window, our system, how much intelligent means. See here, did you create this relation or system created the relation? 
you created the relation between these two columns or system created the relation system only system created system decided lot of things here suppose you see here what is the column i supposed to use here what is the column i supposed to use in this table and what is the cardinality i supposed to provide it that means you studied the data and fixing okay one record here has many records here something like that there is reason many to one relation it is given there is a concept of direction i will talk about this one more later that means lot of things it is thinking or it's providing the relation and everything whatever you are seeing here it is called as model wow beautiful once model is completed you want to do some further calculations here let us say you already one one phase is there you can do the calculations in the power query just now we implemented that is the first priority that is the first priority if you want to create one new column you want to create one new column row wise row wise there is no aggregation rules are there there are no aggregation rules are there like some average min max standard deviation this kind of aggregation rules are there not there remaining things apart from aggregation rules remaining any calculations you want to do it first priority will do in the power query only okay there is a reason why you are doing that one we'll talk about that later but first priority of non aggregation calculation non aggregation calculations we need to do in the power query any aggregation related calculations you want to do it that one you can do here you can do it for example i have two columns one column is called as one column is called as what is the total product cost what is the total product cost is the one column we have it you can notice second column we have here is total sales amount we have it these two things if i subtract it this is a product to manufacture this one marketing this one a number of things will make you maybe let's say 50 rupees i am going to sell this one for 60 rupees profit is 10 rupees right how we got it by subtracting these two things how i can do the subtraction here to do that one we have the terminology called as dax you can go and you can create a new measure i said already don't use new column option if really required then then only use it always new column you have to do where in the power query don't use this option it's a very dangerous option performance wise you have to use always what measure measure means aggregation rules like some average min max standard deviation this kind of things if you want then go for this one new measure i am trying to create it then we are getting here one formula box in the formula box you can able to write it i am writing here profit or maybe loss is equal to then we are writing here sum of whatever we have here sales amount minus sum of whatever we have here total product cost so i may be typing here a bit fast people may not be understanding it our goal also not to understand everything just you need to see the flow just you need to see the flow and understand the course content that's it that's what our goal okay now what we completed is we understand now in the power query we can able to make the connection with the sql server or any other database also we know how to import the tables we imported two tables we know how to do the some kind of transformations we did two transformations one is replacing null with the mnu and concatenation of the columns we did it like that you can do some so many other things also there is a back end language available we'll talk about that later there are so many joins are also available we'll talk about later and there are one project also available we'll talk about later there is a concept of query folding we'll talk about later now we'll know what is modeling in the modeling there is a relationship there is a cardinality there is a single or double directions are available those things we'll try to know about it at this point of time we observed the model customer table connected with the sales table then we are writing some formulas the formulas are called as dax measures those dax measures at this point of time i used one of them that is called as sum i used it i used one of them that is called as sum there are 
so many other functions also available we are going to learn as part of our course there is a studio also available we'll learn it and finally we need to develop now what you have to develop finally you need to develop now what is that visualization till now whatever you did it customer is not going to see it he is not impressed when he is going to impress is if you go to the report view and use this visualizations we have lot of visualizations are available any of these visualizations you have to use it and you have to develop the report and these visualizations are not enough we have the option to get more visuals like in our mobile phone we have apps those apps are not enough we are getting one app from the play store similarly we can get more visuals from the store this is a store of the power bi visuals here you name it that will be available here time being i want to use whatever it is already laid out i want to take one of them that is called as table table visualization i am taking then my goal is i want to take the full name whatever i developed just now i developed just now full name full name this is the full name what i developed i am able to see full name column is came like this i want now sales amount i want it sales amount i want it so go and try to take your sales amount or we created one column right profit column we created so you can take the profit or loss column so because of which customer i got the more profit i want i want to know maybe now i want to apply here filter i want to apply let's go and try to apply the filter and the full name i want to go for here advanced filtering there is top and is available top 10 i want it top 10 in what basis i want is maybe i want here basis is based on profit or loss i want it if i click on apply then i got here 10 members i got it who given the more profit to me by observing this table who given the more profit to me i also organize this one in the ascending order and descending order i am organizing it so let me go and try to organize in the descending order maybe what is the more profit person is who is it visible report let me make the bigger size who is the more profitable person here keith right so keith is the one who given the more uh, profit to our our organization 5273 e given next one is available 5254 next is 5250 something like that wow beautiful <coughs> you developed a visualization that visualization is called as actually table visualization you developed it similar to that one you have bar chart pie chart donut tree map and number of things are available we are also going to do third project at this level once you completed we are going to publish this one into the service what do you mean by that at this point of time what is size of this file in the back end Okay. the size of this 13 gb but still you did not save it if you save it you save it then go back and observe it what is the size now it is now it is you saved it that is reason it is really saved that means it is using the hard disk memory now previously it is using the ram memory only now it is using hard disk memory now tell me where is this file inside my laptop if it is available inside my laptop people who are available around the world can able to access it this file is available inside my laptop people around the world can access this one no that's the reason we need to make sure we have to publish this one into the power bi service power bi service we are going to purchase from the azure they are going to purchase from the azure i am trying to type here app.powerbay.com before that i have your own profile let me change the profile i'll give this username and password to you people don't worry no need to purchase from your side i have 25 licenses are available i am going to give that username and password in my case i am using this uh, username and password then trying to sign in all you need is on username and on password that's it so now you logged into the power bi service you logged in uh 
eight days it's okay i understand that risk then close it now i want to create here a concept is available workspace i am creating a workspace for you i can give any name i can give it we are giving as b24 11 13 today's date i am giving as a name of the workspace you can treat workspace as a folder at this point of time under this folder or workspace do we have anything do we have anything as of now no I will go here, I'll try to publish it. There is an option called as publish. There is an option called as publish. I am trying to publish here. I am trying to publish here. Okay, some reason it is logged in with other ID. Let me uh, log in with my ID. My ID is not thorough. Let us go and try to sign in with different account. My ID is v myla 4 at the rate of Uh, myla ram ready dot on microsoft dot com click on continue then it is asking maybe password yeah now it is, it is already remembered my password looks like it is logged in. Now, once I logged in here, using this username and password only, I created this workspace, right? What is the username and password I used? Vmaila4. Here also I am in Vmaila4. If I click on publish, it is going to show you with this ID, what are the workspace are available, those all things it is going to show it. In that one, everything also available. Ever sees B24, 11, 13 you given if you go and try to type here b24 uh, 11 13 we got it this is the workspace select it then it's going to publish over there once this report is published you can check you can share to anyone anyone in the organization even anyone outside the organization also you can able to share it if that outside organization is registered with our aad azure active directory now if you go and try to observe here, wow, beautiful. Now we can able to observe. Now we got one report here. If you click on this report, we'll able to see our top 10 customers profit-wise, we're able to see it. This is how people are going to access it. I want to share this report to my friend Tarun. Then I can go and I can type here Tarun name. Then I can able to see Tarun ready, we got it. Then I can go and I can send it. It will trigger a mail to his mailbox. You got my point? Yes. If I want to co communicate this one in chart, I want to communicate because nowadays Teams is very famous. I want to communicate, okay, hey, this is a URL. Please use this report and enjoy it. I can able to chart in the Teams also. I can able to chart it. They have tight integrations are available. So that's what our course content I want to cover. We have here Power Bay service. You need to learn out what is workspace, what is dashboard, what is tiles, those all things we learn as part of our course. Gateway is for the purpose of scheduling purpose. We are going to know about what you mean by scheduling, how we can do the eight times, 48 times, those all things. And also we learn about different types of connections, import, direct, live streaming, those things. And how to handle the performance, how to handle the security, how to handle the API connections. We are going to do lot of work means we have to automate our process also suddenly one day they came hey these thousand users need the permissions for this report these thousand users need the permissions for this report i said are you going to give permissions one by one no we don't have that much time we are going to automate that one by using some script i have the script we are going to see that one now we are going to deploy from development to testing testing to production how to do that one we'll be learning here and also we'll be working with SSAS models. Also we're going to work with the Snowflake software. We're also going to work with the Python and also knowing the difference between pro and premium licenses. We have the writing CV capabilities here, marketing the CV capabilities. Okay, HR is available. She's going to take care of those things. And frequent last questions are 45 days is the course duration. 
Monday to Friday we are going to take. And right now we are we have the slot of 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. slot. This is a new batch. And you get the material from this link. You get the videos. This is an excellent one actually. If you want to access any videos, you have here my self-learning platform is available. This is our website, dataexat.com. You can click here and you can listen all the videos you can listen here. If you go and try to click on curriculum, you'll see all the videos are available. All the videos. Okay. There are people, just they'll come and they'll pay this amount, buy this, and they'll listen the videos, they'll learn it. That kind of people are, so many people are there. People want live classes that's the reason we are trying to uh, provide it i'll get every week minimum five to six inquiries i will get it out of five to six inquiries five inquiries they will go for the by this course and they will be learning it that kind of people are there nowadays only for one member purpose i am keeping this class okay that's fine three or four members or five members only may be there in the classroom but Online, their learning is 15 to 20 members will be there in a given month because we have everything. We have clear material is available here. You can see very clear material screenshot wise it is available. For example, if you go to the notebooks, you are decided to learn one of the chapter you decide to learn that is called as uh, getting the data from Excel. We given here screenshot wise we given. As everything is available like this screenshot wise, are you in a position to learn our own? No. And we also have the videos are available. So they, that's the reason we are offering two types of uh, learning strategy we are offering. One is called as self-learning. They'll pay it, they'll learn it. That is the one thing. And second thing is available. Second thing is available. Live classes. That's what you are here. That's what you are here. I think I'm good with that demo. If you have any specific questions, I'm happy to answer those questions. And every day we have the class eight to nine. Before eight to nine, we have one more class, seven to eight. There we are tr trying to cover data engineering portion. So I'm the only faculty who is teaching data engineering as well as data analysis. Though RRI Tech is offering so many other courses. Okay, if you take the Azure Cloud Data Engineering, Power BI, these two things I will be taking care. Google Cloud Data Engineering also I will be taking care. AWS Data Engineering also I will be taking care. Only data engineering and data analysis I will be taking care. And coming to the data science, we have other faculty. Java full stack, we have other faculty. .NET full stack, we have other faculty. But all the materials are available in the same, same way. In the GitHub only, we are, we are delivering it. Okay. So we are very old. We are very old. Uh, I can say in this uh, uh, training sector. Okay, if you observe any of this one, like for example, Power BI, you came here. Power BI material. Yeah. So if you go inside this one, inside this one, let me go for. This readme is available. Let us go and try to see readme uh, or other files, whatever available. How many years it's old here? Whatever I updated here. Four years ago, I updated. And this has version controlling, sir, actually. Version controlling. You can see in the top 874 commits are that. That means 874 times I modified this content. Uh, not only content, material and all. So whenever some new things are coming into the picture, we'll be keep on changing the material. This is an online copy, online copy. We don't allow to keep the something, anything in offline. Everything we want to keep online. Suppose today our friend asked, MongoSQL is supported here or not? Even I was not aware that it's supporting. Okay, it looks like recent version. They introduced it. That is still in the beta version. Once that beta is not there, it is, they came for the public. We'll be, we'll be introducing one more activity on this one. Something like that. That means this material is keep on updating here. Keep on updating. Once your course is complete also, some new topics are came. That new chapter will be here. That much is the guarantee. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Okay. With this, I'm good with the, my demo part.
if you have any questions i would like to go with that otherwise tomorrow we'll continue same time If you are silent, I will assume like no more questions. We will meet tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. The evening session also is there? No, only morning.